I mean, honestly, you know, I seen the quarterback about to roll out, so I basically was about to overlap and try to get him. Then Trajan Jeffco just tipped the ball when he passed it, and it was right there. And, you know, I always say I'm a running back at heart, so that, that was my chance right there. Did you ever score a touchdown in high school or anything? Um, I did on uh, uh, freshman, but when I got to like playing varsity, I didn't. But you know, it was always a goal. My coach, Coach Steeps, wouldn't put me a running back. Did, did you uh, you remember what it felt like? Did it feel familiar? Was it a new feeling when you scored? I mean, yeah, you know, all D linemen. I I, I went to D linemen my whole life. I played a little running back back in JFL and stuff. So, you know, just it was a good feeling to get back in the end zone. You know, it was amazing, just um, especially being able to celebrate with my teammates and especially when it was a play where it was caused by another teammate. You know, it just felt amazing. You know, we were clicking on all cylinders and, yeah. Makai, can you just, now that it's happened, can you describe what the past week was like for you and the defensive players uh, with the change in the coach and just the intensity of practice? Um, you know, we got a, a group of a lot of older guys, so they just kept us all together. You know, they've been through this, the business part of this, you know, a few times. So, you know, they just really was keeping my head straight and a few of the other younger guys. And, you know, we just had a really hard week of practice. You know, the last week wasn't really the result we wanted. And we just knew we had to come out and compete. And, you know, if we practice better, we play better. Okay, can you just describe what it's like to play for, for Al Davis? You know, I love Coach Al, you know. Um, he was around already. And it's just like, you know, he like he catered to me. You know, he's a player's coach. So we're going to work hard. You know, he's going to give you your rest and basically just put us in position to win. Chris Abrams, you know, you had the bubble recovery and the interception. Just how much energy does he give you guys on defense? KD, man. So that boy, he a goat. I call him, him Jalen Ramsey every time I see him. I don't even call him KD. So, yeah, he brings a spark of energy every week, you know, whether it be the kick return on Tennessee, the interception against Simo. He makes spectacular plays all the time. You know, I love playing with him. Okay, you've gotten consistent playing time throughout the year. How have you seen yourself grow since the Michigan game? Um, I would say just um, touching up on my pre-snap reads, being able to pick up on things that, I, that you know, I wasn't at first, like just going out there playing like it's high school, just playing straight. You know, you want to see where the running back is aligned and little things like that that make you a better football player. Okay, you, we mentioned the turnovers. You also had uh, 10 tackles for loss and three sacks. How do negative plays like that, how, how does that help a defense and, you know, maybe cover up for, you know, um, you know, we've been struggling stopping the run a little bit. And when you get negative plays on first and second down, it forces a team to pass on third. So when you know a team's going to pass, it makes it a lot easier for the DBs, linebackers, and the D-line. Did Coach Davis have any message for you guys going into this game that resonated with you personally? We just got to dominate and play fast, mainly play fast, as we wanted to tell us. Get vertical and play fast. Does today's performance feel better than it had in previous weeks? Kind of to the yeah, it did. It felt like we were clicking, you know. The, we were playing off each other more this week, not just playing for ourselves. I'll say over the past few days, you know, defense, we just got closer. Like, we've been bonded more. We just knew we had to figure it out, and hopefully this is a step in the right direction. How much did, you know, I saw you guys went out, you know, for a wing night, you know, as a defense line. Like, how much did that help with that kind of strength and actually going into the you know, that's big for us, just being around each other, you know, being away from football, just getting to know each other more off the field. You know, that's kind of what we were missing as a defense, and we're, we're getting to it now. So that was something new, like something that you guys probably hadn't done? No, like, usually, like, before game days, the D-line, we all get together and have peace and wings. But, you know, with the new coach, he wanted to take us out, thing like that. Getting into sort of the thick of the SEC schedule over these next six games, how did today as sort of – the, the first game that you guys have held an opponent to under 200 rushing yards since week one. How did it just build your confidence going into the second half of the season? You know, it felt good. Um, we capable of doing it, and we know that, but we just got to put it on film, you know what I'm saying? I've heard that uh, Coach Davis is pretty uh, big time watching film as a, a former defense part of Have you spent any more time watching film with them this week? Has that been, been an increase in that? Um, yes, that's the thing he made a, a big emphasis on, you know, not just watching film by ourselves, but getting in with him and getting corrections on practice and watching game film with him in the room. That's a big thing that he preaches.